So let's talk about this whole um, thing that's kind of blowing up right now. It's the um, Donald Trump, uh, you know, using the changing the coronavirus to um, the China virus. Okay, what are my thoughts on this? First of all, I understand his frustration. Um, but if you guys think about this, unless you can prove that that it's not a naturally occurring virus, um, you're just you're just pretty much trying to blame um, trying to blame China for for something that they have no control over. All right? You could say, well, you know what? They have wet markets where they sell a whole bunch of um, weird, well, weird. I'm gonna, I, I would say like non-traditional uh, food, but you could say that about America. I mean, there are places in America where they eat alligators. There are places in America where they eat snakes. There are places in uh, America where they eat roadkill. Uh, frogs, they eat frogs in France. Uh, they eat a whole bunch of stuff. The Italians, they eat, uh, you know, fly diarrhea, cheese, and and that whole thing about dog meat and cat meat. Um, let's be honest. The, the Italians been have a history of eating cat meat. All right, they just you know they just cleaned that up. All right, the Swiss have a history and probably still eat dog meat. All right, that exists. Why is that not a thing with them? And I'm not even, I'm, I'm not even, uh, you know, making this up. You can look it up for yourself. You know, uh, Africa, they eat dog meat in certain places. There's videos up on YouTube. Um, you know, uh, uh, South America, they eat guinea pigs. They do. So this whole thing, uh, the media in the U.S., has always been racist towards Asian culture, Asian Americans. I gotta tell you, all right, Asian Americans have probably been the greatest citizens that this country has ever had, all right? And that's that's a good thing and that's also a flaw. I feel like I feel like if Asian Americans actually produced enough of uh, civil rights organizations, sue people over stuff, sue Donald Trump over stuff, sue this guy like Nick DePaulo over stuff, punch them out or whatever, like blacks have done, like uh, like Latinos. I mean, you know, they they actually gang up on people who actually talk negatively about their people. Um, uh, you know, they'd be in a better place as far as this stuff is concerned. Um, okay, all right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at this as pragmatically as possible. First of all, it came out as the coronavirus, all right? If it, if it started out as a China virus, fine. And then it got changed to coronavirus and then and then they say, well, why, why isn't it the, the China virus? That'd be a whole different story. But it was always the coronavirus. It was always the coronavirus. Now you're trying to swap it into the China virus where you're now purposely going out of your way to change something, you know, in context as far as trying to say, trying to get back at a certain group. And, and you're doing it for reasons where, you know, you're doing for reasons where you're, you're, you're putting out speculation that, um, that, uh, that, you know, it was purposely started by the Chinese for a particular reason in China. All right. Now, if that was a, if that was a provable thing, fine. All right. If that was a provable thing, that's, that, that's fine. You can, you know, go, go, go at it and, and, and do that stuff. However, if you cannot prove that, if you cannot prove that, and, and you're just making accusations about uh, a whole entire uh, 
nation of people, they're actually doing that. And, and, and the implication is, you know, it's not just towards China or, or the Chinese people. All right. The implication is towards uh, everybody of Asian descent. So you're doing not just something uh, dealing with China, but you're doing something that deals with a whole entire race of people. Now, here's the thing. Um, I don't look at this as something that I, I'm going to worry about because it's 2020 and social media exists. All right. Social media exists. It's 2020. All right. This is not like it's 1996. It's not like it's 2000. It's not like it's 2005 where where if you've lived through uh, that period where um, I think China confiscated a U.S. plane, bumped into a U.S. plane and that crashed and they, 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 they imprisoned like three or four, um, you, know, a, you know, a couple of Americans. Um, that, that was, you know, that actually changed the whole entire contour of Asian Americans uh, in America. All right. It didn't just, it wasn't just um, a U.S. versus um, China thing. That actually changed the whole entire context of Asian uh, Americans. They it actually did away with the entirety of the Asian American uh, image. All right, it was the most racist thing that ever, probably one of the most racist things that 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 occurred uh, in recent times, where where Asian Americans built up, um, you know, built up. An Asian American, a real Asian American image. If you guys went back to the '80s and 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 saw how Asian Americans were depicted, they spoke perfect English. They weren't they weren't Bobby Lee types. They they actually had Dean Cain, who who does look you know kind of Asian. He's part Asian, part Japanese, but he, he he you know they actually made him Superman. That that's how far you know Asian Americans culture acceptance was uh, in America during that time and since that situation happened uh, Asian Americans as far as the culture is concerned the identity etc etc the dignity in this country went back 60 years all right went back 60 years it, it hasn't been the same since um, they have no issues with uh, cultural misappropriation of Asian uh, stuff where where they actually just take Asian American culture and then just drop a, 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 um, you know a, a, a Caucasian or African uh, American in there wrong 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 if if you know if the trajectory the trajectory trajectory of Asian Americans, uh, culture, identity, etc., etc. Their place in America had not been stopped. You know, Asian Americans in 2020 would have been, would be, absolutely embedded in the culture of America instead of what they did, which was essentially the most racist thing in the world, because Asian Americans are Asian. But I'm I'm going off track right now. All right, I'm going off track right now. Um. I've al I've always said that that the media in this country has always propagated some kind of proxy uh, proxy cultural race war um, against certain groups of people, and 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 I, I know white people think that white people took the brunt of that over the last twenty years, but Asian Americans were the ones who took the brunt of it over the last twenty years. All right, um, is but but it, it's it's been it's it's been changing over the last three years. Uh, three or four years as a result of social media. Thank God for that. Um, at this point, Donald Trump, Nick DiPaolo, um, if you guys want to take it back to, um, you know, the 90s, the late 90s, the early uh, 2000s, even maybe like 10 years ago, good luck, guys. Good luck. All right. Social media has now, uh, has now, has taken over, all right? They are now your conscience, all right? You guys can't, you know, say stuff like that without having uh, an, app, an opposite reaction from people 
who you're saying that to against. All right. I mean, I, I, I did not watch this podcast from Nick DiPaolo. Um, he's been pretty much going straight, straight ratio when it comes to Asian Americans. I don't know why he's doing that. Because uh, Italian Americans, they pretty much benefited um, a lot. Them and the Irish, they benefited a lot from from just the white skin in this country. I mean, they want to tell you that they came over here through Ellis Island, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but they pretty much let you guys in. I mean, if 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 you guys didn't get favorite treatment, favoritism, uh, there would be an equal amount of everybody in this country. There would be. Uh, 30 million Chinese people in this Chinese Americans in this country. There would be 30 million uh, Japanese Americans in this country. There would be 30 million, um, you know, uh, Koreans in this country. You know, in, instead of there being 30 million Italians, 30 million, million Irish, and 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 maybe like maybe the whole Asian race as a whole make up maybe you know, I don't know what percentage, five, ten percent of the population here. Obviously, you guys benefited from it. But you guys don't want to go there, and 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 on top of that, you guys, you guys love transferring racism over to groups where you guys can get away with your racism. All right, um, I don't see videos from these guys. I don't hear Donald Trump uh, saying uh, too many negative things about black people. He goes out of his way to say things about Latino Americans, Asian Americans, stuff that he could get away with. Because, because um, this country isn't conditioned to the uh, victimization of uh, Asian Americans and Latino Americans and Indian Americans and Muslim Americans. Uh, they're not conditioned, uh, you know, as far as the media is concerned, uh, as far as the whole schooling system is concerned. They're not conditioned to, 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 that, uh, to that race card um, you know that that the Jews get with the anti-Semitism garbage, with that that the that the blacks get with the racism garbage. Um, you know, I, I me personally, I think you either love everybody or you hate everybody. Don't be selective about your you know who you're gonna choose and pick uh, as far as 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 who you hate and who 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 you think should 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 be victimized. All right, don't don't do that. I'm, I mean. All these people, comedians, uh, you know, and, and, and Nick DiPaolo, Sarah Silverman, uh, uh, Seinfeld, Dave Chappelle, all these people, regardless of, you know, what they tell you about the non-PC garbage, they are selective with their racism depending on what they can get away with. They're selective on their racism depending on, on who they are making jokes at, all right? Okay, the, the Jews and the blacks get special treatment because apparently uh, the whole entire country has been conditioned enough to give them a pass. But everybody else, they go full ratio on. Up until maybe like a couple of years ago where social media pretty much, um, uh, you know, you know uh, has taken its place as a voice for everybody in this country. For everybody in this country. All right. But I kind of got off hand, kind of, kind of because of, um, I kind of got off hand because the, the subject matter is, is the whole China virus with, um, you know, with, uh, with Donald Trump saying it and, and, and peop, other people supporting it as, as calling it the China virus. Hey, um, me personally, you know, it's like, I don't look at it as, a big deal at this point because social media will you know at some point it'll come back to haunt them it'll come back to haunt them at one point or another because of the nature of social media it'll come back to haunt them one way or another it'll come back to haunt them all right you can't get away with stuff like this like you can get away with it 20 years ago, 10 years ago, etc., etc. Um, you want to throw that out there, it's going to get thrown back to you at some point. At some point, it's going to get thrown back to you. And and on top of that, we're not in um, we're not in a certain place uh, in, in time where 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 stuff like that is tolerated. Um, you're going to get pockets here and there where people are just absolute idiots etc etc I mean 
Um, if this started Africa, this guy would not be calling it the African virus. He would definitely not be calling it the African virus um, because he would get challenged. He would get challenged uh, either physically, monetarily, by votes, etc., etc. All right. Now, you could say, well, he's only saying that about China. He's only saying about the Chinese. But you can say that, but it doesn't register that way. Okay. You know, it doesn't register that way because, unfortunately, there is no Asian American, um, there's no Asian American identity in this country. If there was, it'd be a different story. <clears throat> All right. If he had, if he had like a couple of Asian people in the background, Asian Americans in the background when he's saying this, and, and, and if I see like a ton of Asian Americans in his cabinet and then he's saying this, um, it'd be a whole different story. But if he had a whole bunch of Asian Americans in, 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 in his cabinet, he wouldn't be saying this. He wouldn't be saying this um, because it would be too close to him. All right. Um, I, I really do wish that Asian Americans created their own uh, civil rights organization that rivals that of the, the NWACP, the ADL, because uh, there is always... There is always politics going on. There is always racial politics going on. That's just the nature of this country. There is always racial politics going on, but it's 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 not going to be anywhere as bad as as um as as you know as twenty years ago because you got YouTube. People opened up. You know, it, it's it's a world. You know, they open up to the world at this point. Okay, it's not just America for the Americans or America for uh, for the Caucasian Americans or the America America for the Negroid Americans. The population of this country has changed dramatically over the last 20 years. The way people look at other people has changed dramatically over the last 20 years. You know, the, the technology where, where uh, people are brought together have changed over the last 20 years. Now, me personally... Um, I, you know, this whole coronavirus thing uh, is something that has frustrated me. Um, I, you know, it, it's taken all, it's, it's, it's just changed life dramatically from maybe a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, I'm as frustrated as anybody uh, as far as this whole situation is concerned. But um, unless you can prove, now I have my own theories about the whole virus, um, but unless you can prove that. You know, you know that 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 um, the Chinese deliberately did that. Probably shouldn't say anything. All right. Now I know that uh, he only retaliated because the Chinese, some Chinese officials, uh, put out a theory that that uh, the the Americans created it and, and planted it in Wuhan, and 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 that's how it came about. Um. Uh, all right, all right. Um, uh, if, if if that's the case, and he's just, uh, he's just retaliating over that. I mean, you know, here's the thing. All right, if they shouldn't be doing that if they don't have proof, it's is 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 the fair assessment of that. They shouldn't be doing that. If they don't have proof. But, but let's be honest. They don't have their president. They don't have the prime minister, whatever it is, the leadership of that country. They don't have him coming out and 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 and, and saying that. All right, it's just some official from 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 uh from 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 the Chinese government, okay, or maybe from the press or whatever. If that's the case, and you want to retaliate, don't have don't have Donald Trump do that. All right, have some one one of his lower guys do that, and then. You know, we, you know, that would be a tit for tat kind of thing. You that would be a tit for tat kind of thing, all right. But to have the president of the United States of America come out and just make a thing, make a big thing over it, calling it the China virus and 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 stuff like that. You know, that's just escalating it to another level. You know, be be diplomatic about something like that. Okay, um, I understand you're gonna have to retaliate on. You know, if if they just throw out unbased claims about 
about something about the virus being started by the Americans. I understand you got to retaliate, but retaliate through other avenues. All right. You as president of the United States of the free world coming out and then just saying it's the China virus. And that's how you retaliate. That's like well above, you know, what you need to be doing. And on top of that, it's uh, it, it's really something that, that, that you can't prove. It's non-productive. Um, and there are Asian Americans in this country. And if you guys actually cared about, mm, about the dignity, if anything else, the dignity of your own citizens, Asian Americans, probably shouldn't go there. Probably shouldn't go there. All right. Um, Asian Americans have contributed so much to this country. Um, uh, been the best citizens of this country. Uh, as far as I, if I, could, I could tell, you know, and uh, for what they got for, from it, as far as the, you know, um, uh, dignity, respect, et cetera, et cetera, uh, over the last 20 years, they did not get that in kind. All right. They did not get that in kind. They, they, they go out, they live and they die. You know, they, they're, they're your service men. They're your, they're your service people. I know they're, they exist in the Navy SEALs. Um, they've, they've contributed to the, to, to, to the building up of this country. Even with the small numbers that were allowed to be brought in. And uh, for you to go out there and do a disservice... You know, if you're gonna do say that it's the China virus, I'm not gonna apologize to it. Um, you you should you should definitely um, go out of your way to say um, this is not about the great Asian American citizens of this country. I am not, you know, this is not, you know, about them. I'm I'm not throwing that out there to disparage or or to or to uh, indignify. The uh, eight, the great hardworking Asian Americans of this country, uh, but you know it, you know it, it did originate from China. It's in it's China, China. It's it, it you know it, it, it's not wrong for me to call it the China, but maybe in that regard, maybe in that regard, I you know you know, but you guys don't do that. Um, you guys don't do that. You guys don't consider, um, for the most part. I don't know what what it's like these days, but for the most part, over the last twenty years, you guys have pretty much minimalized uh, Asian Americans as uh, some foreign entity in this country, and um, and and I, I hope that this country suffers some kind of karma from it. I mean, I hope this country suffers some kind of karma from from just marginalizing <coughs> um, a great uh, race of people. Who who actually contribute to it? Like like Latinos have, like 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 Latino Americans. All right, they actually are the driving engines. They're the actually the working the labor engines of this country. All right, probably the hardest working people in this country. And he, this guy does nothing but minimalize um, the Latino uh, American. Uh, history, American, Latino American contributions to the history of this country, but constantly, constantly denigrating um, um, uh, illegal Mexicans, uh, illegal Amer illegals, which, uh, which, to be honest, Mexico is part of the Americas. Um, they have like the bloodline is like 50, 50, 50, 50 percent, uh, you know, probably of indigenous blood. That means they were here 15, 16,000 years ago, well, well longer than your 500 years if you're from Europe or, 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 or from Africa. So to actually call them, um, you know, illegals, it's just wrong. They, you know, there's no borders, man. There's no borders for a reason because they were here first. If you think about it real hard, they were here first. They were here before you. All right. It's just, you know, if, if you want to think about it, it, it's just, you know, the natives taking back their land is, is what it is you guys have a problem with that you guys could just move back to you guys can move back to africa you guys can move back to europe you guys can move back to where the hell you came from because i'm parent you know you know if you guys want that you guys could move back but this country is an immigrant country uh you know it deserves it, it everybody has contributed to 
to this country. Every race has contributed to this country, and you actually need to respect, you know, respect, respect them. All right, but but like I said, um, if you want to call it the China virus, it was originally called the China virus, and then it got switched to coronavirus, and then it got switched back, and then he wants to switch it back to the China virus. Would be uh, it'd be one thing, but it wasn't called the China virus. It was called the uh, coronavirus. That's what that's what it's known as. Uh, you switching it, wanting to switch back to the China virus, pretty much just says um, you got some kind of beef with. Um, with with Chinese people is it you know from you got you got a beef with China, but but the uh, the more negative aspect of this is um, you're just marginalizing Asian Americans. It's what you're doing, okay. And particularly if you don't put put out any kind of um, um, you know any, any any kind of segue to that, saying t telling Asian Americans that. It's not about you. Asian Americans are the hardest working, you know, hard working people. The great, you guys never say that. Never say that. And and that's why, that's why, you know, as far as me supporting this country, you know, I, it's really hard for me to support a country that don't support everybody. It's it's just really hard for me to support a country. They don't be hypocrites about stuff. Do not be hypocrites about stuff. Don't be cowardly with your hatred, your racism. Just don't. All right. Just you just do like just do things.